a very good morning students in today's lecture this chandu gaud is going to discuss few topics which are related to composite materials under j n t u h r 18 regulation for the upcoming examination the important concepts as many few people feel that uh, the subject is bit difficult and it is all about theoretical aspect i am going to give you few points and tips and how to take this course and how you are supposed to draw the diagrams and to score better marks in the course composite materials let's look into the unit 1 in the unit 1 this is all about the classification of composite materials based on the structure as well as matrix dear students this is one of the pakka question in the final examination based on structure they may be asking and based on the matrix most of the time the question is repeated on matrix as per the previous year question paper which i have gone through and they may be asking you define structure and give the example and define the matrix as well as give the example dear students make sure to draw the diagrams wherever required and the later requirements of reinforcement as well as the requirement of matrix is also one of the important question please make sure listen the all the points which i am going to let you know i am going to discuss few important points also in between throughout this video later advantages limitations as well as the applications of the composite material dear students first unit is a very very important you are supposed to read this unit then only you'll be going to understand the later units and the later future potential of the composite materials is also one of the important question which is asked for 5 marks and do not expect uh, a single question like 15 mark you may be getting one a as well as b sometimes two a b c it is a combination of five 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 mark why because in order to cover this time i'm expecting one and a half question from the unit one as well as one and a half question from the unit two and the remaining questions how they will be asking we'll see later we jump into the unit two it is all about the fibers a student who is good at the unit one need to prepare the unit two also why because there is a continuity in the coming units also which i am going to let you know it's all about the production method and properties of certain fibers there are various fibers whereas i have taken only the few fibers which are being asked repeatedly calvar fibers glass fibers carbon fibers as well as boron fibers later the comparison of fibers is also one of the very very important question and even this also we can expect out of these two questions one question from the unit 2 and the interfaces in the composites also one of the important coming to the types of bonding what are the various and the measuring strength is also one of the important question which is asked for 5 marks later a definition small definitions will be also asked for 5 marks like and the differences between the wettability and bonding as well as nature of glass or carbon fibers and their manufacturing is also one of the important question which can be expected as half question from the unit 2 as well as from the unit 1 and half question and the unit 2 one and a half question dear students or sometimes they may be asking two questions from the unit 2 why because it is bit lengthy old later we jump into the third unit it's very very important a student working out the third unit need to study even the fourth unit why because i am going to let you know the polymeric matrix composites its properties and structure the applications and interface is one of the important and gun shot question uh, that may be the fourth question in the examination point of view as well as the ceramic matrix composites its applications properties and interfaces as well as the toughness is one of the five mark question may be asked related to the ceramic matrix composites dear students the question may not be just direct there will be a questions like the advantages of polymeric matrix composites as well as the ceramic matrix i mean the differences they may be asking they may asking the advantages or list out the various applications comparing these two matrix composites is one of the very very important question make sure to study this two po topics whereas you'll be getting one question from this and the other question from this if they ask difference you should have minimum idea of both the concepts and this may be one of the question so that may be the uh, the fourth or the fifth question for damn sure you are going to get this and it's all about the theoretical aspect and you are supposed to make the diagrams as well as write down point to point and do not write the paragraphs Let's look at the fourth unit. A student who is studying the third unit, I request the students to work out even the fourth unit also. Why? Because they may be asking the comparisons and the differences between the third unit topics as well as the fourth unit topics. So it is all about the MMCS. That is nothing but matrix material com composites and the uh, role of re reinforcement. 
as well as the solid state liquid state fabrication solid state as well as lift it is also one of the very very important and they may be asking you the differences also the interfaces in mmc's so they may be asking the differences in interfaces in mmc's as well as cmc as well as pmc a student should have an idea of this why because they may be focusing the application oriented questions also and in suit techniques are e and their properties and applications is also one of the repeated question dear students so from these topics will be expecting one question and the another question may be based on the carbon fiber composites that is cfc their properties applications and interface i urge all the students who are working for the third unit and there may be a question like uh, differences between cfc and cmc or uh, as well as pmc or compare cfc with the cmc as well as pmc dear students if you look at the first second third first second as well as third and fourth they are in chain the the subject the course is in chain like if you skip one topic and if you go with the other topic you may not be understanding and the questions will be also in such a manner that they may be taking the question certain topic from the unit two and they may be asking you to elaborate and the differences of the particular topic so be careful in preparing this subject as is a complete theoretical and bit of around 10 percent of the problematic later we will look at the fifth unit the fifth unit is completely differ uh, it is nowhere uh, in connection with that why because we talk about the properties mechanical properties like stresses density and the thermal stresses as well as hydrothermal stresses of micro mechanics so till here you may be getting one question from the fifth unit i mean it will be asking only one question so i expect this part a uh, question or helping t psi equation is one of the mechanical approach this may be also be asked and based on this a problem will be asked which may help you in the mid exams also the fourth and fifth unit so make sure to work out all these properties as well as load transfer from matrix to fiber is also one of the eight mark or the seven mark question and do not expect the direct this may be eight a as well as b dear students hope you are following the uh, video and i am going to let you know the plans for the students the plan a is all about i would like to uh, let the students who's willing to clear the subject need to go with one two as well as five why because they are simple and uh, uh, you can just clear the subject and the next plan b is for the students who would like to score a better mark i would like to tell them to work out two three four and one one is also compulsory and that is very very important so these are the two plans i would like like to let you all know that if you are perfect with one uh, i mean one you will be knowing the basics so that you will go with two so they will be asking the differences among these two units so you should be perfect with these two units why because they are interrelated so before planning what you are supposed to do here is so you are supposed to work out uh, the properties as well as applications uh, mostly they'll be asking the interfaces of different composite materials so make sure to make the points uh, in your rough notes and the copy and make before going to the exam please go through all these uh, points why because it will be a bit confusing for you all that why because there will be many materials you are going to work out many different types of composite materials on which material they may be asking the applications as well as the properties dear students make sure to draw the diagrams as a theory subject there was a video in my channel like how to score good marks and how to take the exam was uploaded like you are supposed to write in point wise and do not write the paragraphs if you are liking my videos please do subscribe and share my channel with your friends hope you will perform well and if you are looking for any other subject please do comment in the comment section and do like and subscribe to my channel thank you